read the Bible, it is God's special word. I love to read the Bible, and this is what I've heard. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. When I read the Bible, it tells me how to live. When I read the Bible, it tells me He forgives. Cause yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. When I read the Bible, shows me how to love and when I read the Bible it makes me think of how yes Jesus loves me yes Jesus loves me yes Jesus loves me the Bible tells me so the Bible tells me so Have you ever played a game where you had to save the world? Maybe you pretended to be a superhero. Or a cool animal. Or a... Plumber with a pet dinosaur. It's pretty fun to pretend to save the world. But did you know that someone really did save the world? In real life? It was Jesus! Here's how it happened. A long time ago, Jesus died on a cross. He was buried in a tomb. And then he rose from the dead. Because he died and then came back to life, Jesus made a way for you and me to be forgiven, be rescued, and be close to God forever. But at first, when Jesus died, his friends didn't understand. They were so sad. They couldn't believe he was gone. Three days after Jesus died, two of his friends, both named Mary, went to visit the place where Jesus' body was. But when they got there, they were in for a big surprise. Jesus' body was gone. Sitting on top of the stone was an angel his clothes as bright as lightning, who had a message for Jesus' friends. He's not here. He has risen, just like he said. The women were overcome with joy and ran to tell the others. They wanted everyone to know Jesus was alive. The news Mary and Mary ran to tell that first Easter is the same news we can celebrate today. Jesus isn't dead. He is risen and alive. Because Jesus beat death, we can be forgiven and be with God forever. <laughs>